Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Bowtie Jake. That's what my name is on many uh, social media platforms. This is my 2013 Super Sport Camaro. It's got it's a manual, so it's a TR6060. I put a Z01 diff in it. Uh, I had a mildly built LS3 uh, stock bottom in. Um, put a Huron Speed uh, T4 kit in it with a 78-75 VS Racing billet wheel turbo on it. It ran pretty good for six, seven, eight months. Uh, I think we. Before it blew up on the dyno, it was like 651 rear wheel horsepower at 10 pounds of boost on E85. Um, not horrible, but the motor did blow up. Uh, I got some remnants of it over here. Uh, it wasn't a pretty show. Um, piston number five tried to go in the number six hole and piston number seven, uh, the top rings touched. Uh, it is what it is. We ended up going with a, a dart block. Um, from Thompson Motorsports. We got it over here. Next couple days, we're going to be uh, buttoning it up and checking everything over and hopefully getting it in the car sometime soon. Um, we got some Boost Monster heads. We got a dart block. We got Thompson Motorsports Custom Grind Turbo Cam. I think it's like their stage three or four. Um, we got some Jessel Rocker Arms. Get you a look inside the valves here a little bit. Six bolt head block. It's got Carrillo pistons in it. Um, I think it's got Cali Enforcer I beam rods. They're good, 300 horsepower per cylinder. Um, billet crank from Dart. We got the rear main seal already. We got our custom made uh, in house uh, little puller because I said fuck paying 30 bucks. I had the extra shit laying around and we made it for cheap. So that's the plan. We got parts everywhere. Um, car blew up like six months ago. It's been uh, just sitting there pretty much empty. Future plans with the trans after engine break-in is gonna come out and we're going to, uh, I got the last SFI rated bill, uh, bell housing for TR6060. I'm gonna have Tick Performance build it. Um, got NGW uh, shifter. Try that bad boy out. All right. I don't know. I just went ahead and got it while everything was out. Got tons of parts up there. Got my McCloyd flywheel that we got to reinstall. McLeod, however you pronounce it with English. Um, trunk full of parts. Going to be trying to sell this stuff. The, the Huron speed kit. Cold side, hot side, no blow off valve, no oil feed line, but the return line and fitting for the oil pan. Uh, wastegate. I'm keeping the blow off out for next build because we're going to go with a, a 91 millimeter forced inductions turbo. Um, yeah, and either a custom kit or Huron Speed supposed to be coming out with their T6 kit here hopefully soon. I'm going to see how it's set up. And uh, you guys probably want to look at this instead of me while I'm talking. But yeah, that whole uh, Huron Speed T4 kit I'm going to try to sell for 2500 bucks. Um, not bad, uh, much else to show you, car's been sitting a while, old girl needs a bath, but it's got a ceramic coat on it, so she'll, she'll clean up real nice. Um, for fuel system, we got 1300cc injectors, we got uh, a squash dual pump in there, um, with a hob switch. Um, Rear end, we got some BMR stuff back there, subframe bushings and whatnot. Uh, motor, trans, and then we're going to do turbo kit, and then we're going to do 15-inch rear end conversion back here. Um, then hopefully get some 15-inch bead locks, and we'll see where the build goes. Plan is to get in deep into the eight seconds. Obviously, I know I'm going to eventually need a cage and all that other stuff. And... Uh, I mean, that's why I ended up snagging from Tick Performance the last SFI rated bell housing for the TR6060. That, uh, oh, I can't remember who 
uh, Rockland Gears makes or co-makes with uh, somebody else. The name's fooling my head. But uh, yeah, um, hopefully uh, I'll be posting some videos here soon. Uh, the progression of the build, see how far we get today, and uh, I'll update you. All right, into day one of buttoning the dart block, the Thompson Motorsports dart block up to put it in the Camaro. I was hoping tonight that we would uh, be able to get it in the car, but uh, ordered a NATI super dampener, and guess what? It didn't come with fucking bolts to connect the dampener together. So now we gotta wait till Monday and uh, call them up and see what they're gonna do. Hopefully uh, they don't charge me because it was uh, their fault on their quality control department, in my opinion. Um, everything went together relatively smoothly and, until that point. But uh, hopefully sometime next month we'll be able to get all bolted up and I'll probably take a montage video of me getting it in the car along with uh, my dad, the wife, uh, any of the friends that come out and do it. I lost the footage of the montage that I was going to put together while we were putting this all together. We were fucking around a little bit. But uh, when we took it off, the engine stands over here, took these off, I noticed this nice little gouge right here in the side of this dart block. It looks machined almost. That's unfortunate. I'm going to be contacting Thompson Motorsports Monday morning and see what the hell's up. Um, because that's something that obviously wasn't happen, happened during shipping because those brackets covered this whole thing right here. So, got sparks plugs in, gapped correctly, all the sensors in, all looking good. Custom paint job done to match the car. <clears throat> Other than that, uh, look forward to more videos. Um, I know these are short, but, uh. Hey, it's whatever, you know. Peace out, guys.